Today's conversation is sponsored by First Generation Capital Partners. If you're an accredited investor and you want to know about how we're helping other accredited investors keep more of their income, go to firstgencp.com forward slash going long. You're listening to the Going Long Podcast with Billy Keels, the number one podcast for long distance real asset investing. Welcome to the Going Long Podcast. We're back once again to continue to help to educate you so you feel much more comfortable as well as confident investing beyond your backyard. And yep, I'm your host, Billy Keels, and we are back once again for another solo episode. I guess it's just the just the two of us, just the two of us, as they say. So uh, really looking forward to this. I also want to say thank you for those of you who are continuing to be here week after week uh, to listen to the solo episodes, to listen to the guest episodes as well. Really appreciate you. And, and also want to say, listen, if you are leaving your honest written reviews as well as ratings, thank you. If you're still thinking about doing it, go ahead and do that. Uh, and don't forget, you can tag us uh, across social media. We love LinkedIn. We love Instagram. And for those of you who are already doing it, thank you so very much. We really, really appreciate it. And if you've ever wanted to hear any of the previous episodes, because like we're well beyond 300 at this point, just go to firstgencp.com forward slash podcast and you can find all of your favorite episodes or one that you want to re- resend to friends or family or whatever. Go check it out there. Um, Today, I, I do want to address something that may be a little bit controversial, um, maybe a little bit sensitive topic uh, to talk about. Uh, but it's, this is one of the things that uh, I had a recent conversation uh, with one of our investor family members, and it really had to do, there was an uncomfortableness uh, because the investor family member thought that it was time to make a change um, in their team. And what do I mean by that? Well. One of the things that typically that, that I've seen is, you know, when you get started, you're in a particular place. And so you have the tendency, and I'm sp- speaking about specifically about investing, right? Just someone who's a professional investor and has had a growth uh, over the number, uh, over a number of years. And is starting to recognize that the level of knowledge that this person has is far superior to the level of knowledge that they started with you know, a couple of years ago, let's, let's call it three, four years ago. And over time, it's okay. Like I even felt the same. Sometimes as you get started, you don't know what you don't know, but the more that you want to understand about investing, for instance, you're that high wage earner who's having a tax problem because um, you've invested in real estate and real estate is really good because it's extremely tax efficient. But now you've realized like you still continue to pay 40% plus in income tax. By the way, if you're feeling like that, uh, go to firstgencp.com forward slash going long. Um, you'll get some education to kind of help you with that. But, but back to the subject. And when we get started and we're building a team, and whether you are building a team because you're a professional investor and that is your uh, your legal team, uh, maybe you have someone uh, that is a part of your legal team and they're maybe a general counsel, or maybe they're a, a real estate attorney or an estate planning attorney, um, or, or any different one of the disciplines within attorneys, or maybe that's someone who's a broker, maybe they're a real estate broker, commercial broker, uh, or they are someone who is, a, is an insurance broker the number of different people on your team that you're getting advice and learning from in the beginning, as you evolve as an investor, chances are you're going to outgrow your team. And that's okay. That just means that you're doing the work. Because when you get to a point that you understand more about your specific situation than the specialist on your team, that's one thing. If you feel like they can't really even understand or don't want to leave their level of specialization, then that's something completely different. But it's okay if every couple of years that you change your team, meaning, or, or maybe a specific member of your team, because maybe you've learned really more about taxes and income taxes and how they affect you. And you may live in a specific state that has different rules around income tax. You also understand more about what happens at the federal government level. The more that you understand the more that you can then enter into different conversations. And when you get to a point where you feel like you know more than the specialist on your team and they're not willing to do the work to, to raise the bar, that's what I mean. Specifically, they're not willing to use, the, the, to use their time, their energy to raise the bar to be able to answer your questions. Your specialist on your team wants to stay in the comfort zone. Well, then guess what? You're continuing to grow because you're pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. And that's a really good thing. And I just say that because I'm, Almost, I don't want to say 100% positive, but there's someone 
you're watching, you're listening, you're thinking to yourself, you know what? I've had this feeling like I'm really outgrowing because I'm asking questions. It's taking them too long to get back to me, or they're giving me the same response. When it's time to change a member of your team, it's time to change a member of your team because you've been doing the work, you've been growing, you've been expanding, and maybe that specialist on your team, great at you must have specialists on your team if you want to continue to grow. And it's okay to outgrow members of your team because what you've learned along the way has been absolutely fantastic. And they're going to help you to be better prepared for the next member of your team that's going to take you to the next level. Right. So specifically, I wanted to talk to that person who's feeling a little bit uncomfortable about changing the member of their team because they've been around for a while. And um, yeah, they've been around for a while, but now it's time for you to go to the next level. And if that member of your team is not willing to do the work to go to the next level, then it's time for you to go to the next level with the next specialist who's going to be on your team. So don't feel bad. Don't feel uncomfortable for wanting to make that change. Um, it's part of your progression. It's part of your evolution. So with that stated, hopefully that liberated a bit of tension from you because you've been trying to figure out how do I stay? How do I stay? How do I, what do I do? And, and it's okay. Maybe it's just time to make a change. So take this, listen to it a couple of times, reach out to me. Um, you know, we make it easy. Um, leave your review. Let me know if you like this, you didn't like it, whatever the case may be one way or the other, share today's conversation with someone else. And while you're doing that and you're talking about the content, I'm going to be here preparing for another solo episode. So until then, go out and make it a great day. And thank you very much. Trust that you enjoyed today's conversation. And once again, today's conversation was sponsored by First Generation Capital Partners. If you're an accredited investor and want to find out more about how we're helping accredited investors to gain their personal freedom even faster, go to firstgencp.com forward slash going long.